When you need to work together on a document, Word makes it easy. There's no switch to turn on, no special setting to enable. Just save your document to either a Windows Live SkyDrive or to a SharePoint site. We'd click Save to Web to save to a SkyDrive. For this video, however, we're going to save to SharePoint. I'll double click this Collaborative Documents folder that I have on my SharePoint site to save there. This dialog box appears. I'll just click Save. Now I'll go to my browser to see the folder in SharePoint. Here's the folder, Collaborative Documents. I'll right click and choose Refresh to see the document we just uploaded. And there it is. Now I just need to email a link to this document inviting my colleague Joni to work with me on this sales proposal. This drop down menu in SharePoint makes it easy. I address the email to Joni, add a subject line, and then I send the email. When Joni gets the email, she'll just click the link to open the document to edit in Microsoft Word. And I'll know when she enters the file, Word provides an alert with a short message. If I click here, I can see everyone currently working in the document. Right now it's just the two of us. When multiple authors are editing at the same time, you can see where everyone is working, and everyone can see where you're working. This bracket tells me that Joni is working here in this paragraph. Once Joni has made changes and saved those changes to the document, I can click Save when I'm ready to receive them. This alert is telling me that Word has refreshed the document with changes made by other authors. Changes are highlighted so they stand out. You can see that the paragraph I'm working on is also bracketed by a blue line. While I'm editing here, other authors are blocked from working in the same paragraph. When I'm ready to share my changes, I click Save. You save to share your changes. With Save to Share, you control when others see your changes and when you receive their changes.